Prince Harry could be in danger of running out of allies if he continues to hurt his family, it's been warned. Earlier this week, Harry said he severed ties with Saudi billionaire Mahfouz Murray Mubarak bin Mahfouz a year before he was presented the CBE by Prince Charles. The Duke of Sussex reportedly had concerns over the businessman's motives, who is listed as a supporter on the Prince's Foundation website, donated large sums to restoration projects of particular interest to Charles. The Prince then gave Mr. Mahfouz, who denies any wrongdoing, a CBE in a ceremony at Buckingham Palace in 2016, which was not published in the court circular. But Harry's comments could be seen as one-upmanship over his father as the royal rift between the prince and his family continues. The Mirror's royal editor Russell Meyer said, The Prince of Wales is caught between a rock and a hard place on how to deal with his son after so many recent and often hurtful outbursts towards the rest of his family. For while Prince Charles, according to those close to him, still loves and cares deeply for Prince Harry, there is a certain unease at how frequently and with such ease he seems to wade into his family's affairs. The family he upped sticks and left behind, if you recall. The latest souring of relations between father and son seems to stem from Harry attempting to claim he raised concerns about a Saudi tycoon at the center of a probe into sizable donations to Charles's charity. This is at odds with Charles, or any of his closest advisors, who appear to have no knowledge of Harry ever mentioning anything of the sort. The Harry that presents himself in public, or through his vastly expensive lawyers, is quite different from the one who still engages with his father. The danger is he will run out of a number of already dwindling allies in his own family if he doesn't see the hurt he is causing to others who have maintained a dignified silence. It is claimed Charles and Harry have had only a few fraught conversations on the phone since the Sussexes quit their roles as senior royals and moved to Los Angeles in 2020. But Harry has been critical of his family in a number of interviews in the U.S. since he and his wife relocated overseas, including the bombshell chat he and Meghan had with Oprah Winfrey. Another news. Prince Charles has been criticized for his involvement in politics after campaigning for climate change in the past few months. Some have slammed the prince for getting involved in politics, a rare move for a member of the royal family which is famously apolitical. Michael McLaren discussed Prince Charles on Sky News Australia. The host asked, I really want to ask you this question about Prince Charles. Could we see people who are traditionally more conservative and more likely to want to stay with the royal family pushing away the from the royals because of King Charles the Green's stance on climate? Mr. McLaren said, well, in short, we could. The only writer I would have being Charles obviously lives in Britain and in Great Britain, I don't think this climate agenda is really seen as a party political issue in the same way it is here. I mean, up until recently, you had one side of politics here pretty much against much happening and the other side pretty much pushing forward. So it was a very divisive issue on the on the floor of the house. He added, whereas in Britain, you've got both sides wanting to outdo each other about how quickly they can go green. So in that context, maybe he looks at this and he's in that bubble largely and said, well, you know, this isn't really a political issue, and so he's just having his say, and it's not like it's come to this fresh. Outside of Great Britain, obviously, it plays differently, including here which is what you're asking. And therefore, yes, there could be people saying, well, you know, the monarchy is made to be distant from everyday political matters. I guess the point is, once he gets the crown on his noggin, if he stops playing openly in the political arena, well then I guess he's playing by the rule book.